How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Moment of Sanity here. Get out of here, you freaking message. I don't know what the point of that one is. Anyways, guys, welcome back. We're continuing Dreaming Treat here. And let us save a progress. Oh. Oh, well, this changed. Mm. Hey, Treat, it's about time you showed up. Huh? We were waiting for you. You'll take a bath with us, right? Uh, uh, um... Let's do it. <laughs> sure, I, I will. Hey, more fun bathing with friends. Yep, absolutely. You'll get to see all sorts of things, right, right? I won't stare. <laughs> anyway, you better make up your mind. What'll it be, Treat? Why choose? <laughs> Let's all go together. Whoa, really? Nice. Yes, there's something I need to tell you, both of you. Oh, what could it be? I'm so curious. Sounds serious. <laughs> this series has some fantastic lines. <laughs> oh, Moxie. Air in the bathing area is warm and fragrant. The flower petals decorate the water surface, and a light stream embraces the group as they enter. They have the whole bath to themselves. Moxie, hearing ahead of her friends, calls out a challenge to race to the bath. Mochi gives a gentle reminder of the no running rule, despite breaking into a small jug herself. Treat's pace remains completely unchanged as Moxie splashes into the water with Mochi not far behind. She can't help but smile at the scene. It was times like this that Treat felt the happiest. Living with Mochi and getting to spend so much time with her was wonderful. Of course, she had been close with Moxie, too. But nothing felt better than when they were all able to be together. She wanted that, always, more than anything. As Treat slips into the comfort of the hot springs with her two dear friends, she thinks carefully about how to proceed. Yeah, feels thicker now. Mochi and Moxie look at Treat expectantly, kindly, patiently. She loves Mochi, and she tells her as much, to which she is rewarded with a kiss. She loves Moxie too, tells her as well, to which she is rewarded with another kiss. It isn't fair, right? As a walk, this kind of thing just isn't an option. She thought it wasn't an option at all. Wolves are bad. Treat is a bad wolf. So it isn't fair to, for her to be able to feel as much happiness, is it? She cries at the thought, and her parent partners understand. They hold her gently. Ah, how kind. It's so warm, with each of them on either side. She briefly worries about overheating in the bath, but soon those fears melt away. Be held and kissed and touched by both of them like this. It's far too much for the wolf's lonely heart. And things get really carried away. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Not even five minutes into this game, and it's already amazing. <clears throat> tree, 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 you finally woke up. Don't you remember? We're going with Moxie to the beach today. Oh no, your face is all red. Don't tell me you got a fever and can't go to the beach. N huh? N no. So you didn't get sick after all? Good. Beach! 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 You're so worked up. Because we're all going to the beach. Hurry, hurry. Get out of bed. Now that was a interesting dream. Well, at least the garden is still up and running, so that's good. Another postcard. Where the hell are you now? Are these mushrooms or are those UFOs? Do you enter freaking Area 51? The trick. Kidding postcards from Trick always brightens your day, huh, Treat? Yeah. Oh, if we get to see them again soon. Me too. Hope that nothing bad happens. Ah, oh, there she is. The elegance herself. There you are. I got tired of waiting, so I decided to swing by. Good morning, Moxie. Hello. <laughs> That's right, the life of the party is here. 
I don't know why, but that personality is just by far my favorite one. Maybe that's the reason I give her that voice. Let's roll! Tree 2 take the lead. Onwards to a grand earthbound adventure. This feels like earthbound with everyone just following. Which station? Don't worry about that, Moxie already bought your tickets. Oh, nice. You bought all three of them? Here, let us pay you back. I'm not taking your money. Hey, that was my idea, so I'm having to do at least this much. Are you sure? But so far, they were expensive, right? It's a gift. You're right, I shouldn't worry so much. Exactly. Now let's go. Time to teleport. Uh, if only the beaches over here looked th this nice. For here, the ocean. <laughs> By the way, I invited my friends. Is that Moxie I hear? Come get some gnarly waves with me, brah. It's about time she got here. I was beginning to think she didn't seriously want to hang out. <laughs> Look at all the foxes and even a wolf that I've gathered here. We're taking over this beach. Taking over? Hey, it's a whole party. What a great idea, Moxie. I see Mochi has no problem with us conquering this place for the afternoon. You're the only one that, who's well behaved here, Treat. It's true, one of us has to be good, right? I'm not. <laughs> Sorry, Treat. With both me and Moxie here, you have no choice but to get ganged up on. Anyway, I'm going on ahead. Since your first time at the beach, you should run around to do whatever you want. Uh um, okay. <laughs> Don't laugh like that. Tree to listen. I came up with a secret plan for the day. You wanna hear it? You're scheming something. I'm always scheming. But this is where to you and Mochi. Hmm? I have a plan too. Huh? You do? I thought that I would be fine just staying as friends. I thought it'd be better. But I keep having weird dreams, so I think I have to say something to get off my chest. Oh, you have to say something. That's what Moxie's been telling you all along. So whenever you're ready, come talk to me. I'll take care of the atmosphere. All you need to do is say stuff. You got the easy job. I keep telling you it's not easy for me. Alright, let's explore. Hmm, alrighty. <laughs> Mother of... okay. Nice sand bucket here. Can't interact with that. Alright, Moxie, what is your grand plan? You ready, Treat? Ready, I think. Oh, Mochi, would you come here for a moment? Do you need me for something? Me and Trey found some pretty cool sh seashells out past this little overhang. Wanna come collect some with us? Oh, that sounds fun. Let's do it. Huh. Right this way. Follow the master. Maxi. What's up? Go collect shells with her. I don't understand your plan. What? You don't have any faith in me? One-on-one -on -one activities like this are the perfect lead-up to a heart-to-heart. -heart. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, there, matchmaking maestro over here. I'm here if you need me. Go get him, treat. Well, I see an amazing-looking shell right over here. Hey, look. I got a shell. Look at this. Oh, it's cute. I'll find more. Alright, let's go find some more shells. Okay. My good rabbit pal, I found another seashell. I found another. <gasps> oh, there's a creature inside! Oh. Oops. Oh, I missed this one. This time I checked and no one's inside. <laughs> no creature this time. <laughs> That's too bad, it looks like a nice home for one. There's another shell. What do I do if I can't find any more shells? <laughs> Three is probably enough. Let's move on to the next phase. Phase two! I run up and tackle both of you so that way you can be closer together. Hey, Mochi, you had enough fun with your seashells? The way you said that, it sounds like you have something else to show me. Watch out, Shree. This one's perceptive. So what is it? It'll take a bit of walking to get there. Are you up for it? I'll be fine. What about you, Shree? Is it really okay being dragged around by Moxie? You're right, she must be scheming something. Relax, it's a nice scheme, follow me. Hey Treat, hmm? Thanks for the seashells, they'll make a really fun memory. Yeah, let's go. 
onwards to wherever this is going to take us. Ooh. Ooh, that's a nice view. And here we are. Oh. Wow, what a nice view. It's so pretty up here. Right? Told you it was a nice scheme. Now, I'm going to go grab something real quick. You two should stay right here. Okay. Do you think she's getting something for her scheme? Hmm? Uh, oh, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. I hope it doesn't get too chilly when we're walking back. I forgot to bring my cardigan. Cardigan? Oh, it's a sweater! <laughs> Sorry, I always forget we come from such different places. Yeah. <laughs> Moxie's just watching from the freaking fence. You probably have names for big winter coats that I have no idea about, right, Treat? Parkas. Okay, well, I do know what a parka is. What about a Yushanka? What's that? It's what my hat is called. Everyone in my pack wore them. Wow, I didn't know. I learned something new today. And on top of that, well, you never talk about your pack, so I'm really happy to hear about it. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. You're not with them anymore, so it must be really hard to talk about. But that's not a very good excuse. I really don't want to hide anything from you, because you're important to me. Ah, uh, tree. That's why I'm going to be honest now, even though I'm really scared. To think of how to start this. I don't know, just start off with whatever feels right, I don't care. It's okay, take your time. Okay. Oh, gee, I have something to tell you. Yes? Do you remember a long time ago when I told you why I came back to frosting, how I ran away from my pack? I never fully explained the reason, so I'm going to do that now, if that's okay with you. Of course, I'll listen. For wolves, we have something called a moon ceremony. It's the same as a wedding, but it's really, really important to us. You're supposed to find your one soulmate, and together you always... And, and, and together you make a vow to the moon to always support one another as a pair. But I... I'm not a very good wolf, so I was afraid of being stuck with just one partner. I hate selfish, but I always thought... What would it be like to have two soulmates? Or three? If everyone was happy being like that... Then wouldn't it be okay? It would be okay. Right, it would, so... That's why I had to run away from my life as a wolf. And then I met you and Moxie. Treat, your hands are shaking. I I'm sorry. May I hold them? Okay. No. So, um... Because of the circumstances, I don't feel right to try and be anything more than your friend. Circumstances? You know, leaving Frosting and moving in with me? If I messed anything up, where would you go? It'd be hard on you. You worry too much. I can't even imagine getting in a fight with you. Not that we'd get in a fight, but if I did something weird or bad and made you uncomfortable, it'd be safer to just ignore my feelings, but they built up instead. Treat? This part is really terrible to admit, but I talked to Moxie about it, and she offered to help me deal with those feelings. So we ended up staying the night. Whoa, 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 Shreed, you don't need to go into any more details here. I was wondering what you bop out, Moxie. You knew I was listening? It's pretty obvious that you set this whole thing up for Shreed to tell me all that, right? We both schemed. Hey, if it was so obvious, don't fall for it. And don't let Treat reveal anything embarrassing about me. Oh, it's okay, I get the picture. Thank you for supporting Treat, Moxie. Uh, sure thing, Moxie's great at support. It's nice for my efforts to be recognized for once. Even though you interrupted. Thanks, Moxie. So where does this leave the three of us? Uh, did you not think that far ahead, Treat? <laughs> oh, um, I don't know how I should ask. It's easy, just say, Moxie, Mox, Mochi, Moxie, will you be my girlfriends? It's too embarrassing. Now, now, it's gotten pretty late. Shouldn't we head back? Ugh, it's so far and my legs hurt. You're the one who made us all the way walk all the way here, and now it'll be dark by the time we get home. I'll just get Treat to carry me back. I won't. Why, you? <laughs> <laughs> here you are, safely back to your station. This is where Moxie's escort services end for the night. Phew, we finally made it. It was a long journey. Sorry about all the walking. Next time, let's go and see a movie or something instead. You'll get home safe if I leave you here, right? Since Treat's with you? 
Well, I'll be fine, unless you want to stay for dinner. What are you having? Something delicious? Don't leave Moxie out. Is what I would say, but I got work tomorrow. I need to get back. See you again soon. Yep, yep. Have a nice night. Alrighty then, let us head on back home. Something tells me something weird's gonna happen. Hmm? Treat you're being even quieter than normal. I am. I am. Is it because we're alone now? I don't know. <laughs> Just teasing. Treat? I'm sorry for being quiet. I don't know what I should say. No, it's not that. I was just thinking, I didn't get a chance to respond to all the stuff you told me at the beach. Oh, sorry. No need to apologize. Moxie kind of derailed the conversation. I wanted to give you some time to calm down, too. Thank you. Maybe I should have waited till you're we all the way home to bring it up. We can go and talk about it at home. Okay. Let's go. Oh no. Oh no! Oh. Wait, that's how it ends? That's how it ends? Holy crap. Alright, see ya. See ya. Holy crap. That was Dreaming Tree. Jeez. That's... That's actually freaking terrifying. Jeez, okay. Well, um, anyways, that's all for today's episode. Holy crap. Okay. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know how to... I don't know how to end this. Alright. Anyway, see ya.